Hey there, it's Gummy Bear. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new Virtual Family 3 house tour. This is my first house tour of 2024. And yeah, let's so, go. This is the first room when you walk into the house and also have my dog doormat back. Anyways, so this is the first room. It's kind of empty. I need to find a couple more things to add to this room, but I'm just not sure what I want to put in here yet or like what's missing, but I feel like it's kind of empty. Next up, we have the epic bathroom, and I've added these bath bombs. I know there's not a bathtub, but I figured I can put them in here anyways because I want to. Let's just call them shower steamers for this bathroom. And that's about the only change I've made to this room. Um, and by the way, if you are new here, I do have a lot of house tours, and I try to have different things in each one. Like, I won't just make a house tour of the same, like, decorations and stuff. Like, some of the rooms will be the same, but I try to change, like, as much of it as I can before I make a house tour. But anyways, so you could check those out if you want more house decorating ideas. Also, have decorating tips ideas. So, anyways continuing on that is the epic bathroom let's go to the next room so the next room is the dining room and here's what it's looking like it's still like dark and scary <laughs> it's not really scary but i have it in the gothic style pretty much except the dining table which i really wish there was a gothic style dining table because that would be so cool also i took one of these little tables and put the air fryer from the christmas family trip onto the table and my people use it like pretty often just on their own they'll go and use the air fryer so yeah but there's not really anywhere you can set the air fryer so i just ended up putting it in here and i think it's it's fine in my opinion next up we have the laundry room i'm not sure if anything in here has changed except that i added this red and white picture which matches perfectly because the laundry room is actually red and white so yeah that's the laundry room Next up is my kitchen. I've just decorated it with a few different things, including these cookies and milk from the Christmas stuff, just because it kind of fits when you have a meal here, like the fifth plate that's missing. And it also is like, you can have milk and cookies whenever you want. I also have it out here because I feel like this one like looks like you're going to have guests over and you have some milk and cookies out for them to have so yeah i just keep it as a decoration now um maybe that's weird i don't think it's weird i have a couple like towels things like that next up here is what my office is looking like i know i've changed some things in here but i'm not 100 percent sure what i've changed but here's what it looks like you guys might no notice more of a difference than me it took me forever to redo my house so I can't even remember what all I did. And the last room in this level is the purple bathroom and I have added bath bombs. And other than that, it's pretty much the same. I have a little towel, some flowers, you know, purple soaps, things like that. So yeah, that's the purple bathroom. And next up, we've got the parents' bedroom and this is what it's looking like so far. I definitely think it's missing something. But I'm not 100% sure what it's missing. If you guys know, let me know. Like, what is missing from this room? It definitely needs more stuff, but I don't know what I need to add. That's what it's looking like. They have a spot to watch TV. They have their bed, of course. And I used the ribbons to hold back the curtains. I think it looks so cute. And so, yeah, that is the parents' bedroom. Next up, I made this little like airplane room for kids or teens or whoever wants to stay in this room. This is what it's looking like. I've got this blue painting, blue everything pretty much. I also have this dresser I think was from like the 4th of July family trip or something. And I have of course the airplane beds and an airplane toy. Star chair which I think is cute and it kind of goes with the dresser because it both has they both have stars and just some toys so yeah that is the airplane bedroom next up i have the workshop the workshop is still the same i haven't changed anything in here because well it's one of those work rooms so the work rooms you can't change much in other than adding like upgrades so that is all that we have here and yeah this is what it's looking like i mean i have put the toolbox in but that was already there before 
Next up, this is the newest room idea that I've had and I got this idea when I got this mirror all the way at Halloween time, which the ghost has appeared in now. I guess she's showing up just for you guys for the video. So yeah, this is a like gothic purple and black bedroom. Now there's not a purple bed, so I had to use a blue one, but I think it matches pretty well anyways. There's not a lot of purple in this game. Purple is like a rare color in this game, but I do have this lizard toy that I added and this purple flower, purple curtains of course, all to match the purple mirror and then all the gothic style furniture is black of course. And I added this strange rug that looks like a dandelion, you know what I mean. Anyways, so that is what this bedroom is looking like and yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it but it's definitely different and unique and I don't think I've made a bedroom like this before in the game and I wanted to try to make like something different for you guys i don't know if you guys want to try, try out like a bedroom style like this here's an idea for you i don't i don't know anyways so moving on so here is the last room in the house but don't worry we still have the outside to check out so first up i have i don't know i don't know this hasn't changed a ton other than taking away the christmas stuff and I've also added this gumball machine. I still have like my snowboards and stuff out because this is like cabin style room. So I want to keep like the snowboards and things like that. Um, so yeah, this is what this room is looking like. And this is kind of like a fun room. So, you know, we've got like the train set and the gumball machine. We have the bar. So there's something for everybody. And yeah, I really like this room and like it has the like, cozy vibes and fun vibes in my opinion so yeah anyways that is the last room in the house and now let's go outside what the heck my people are in here i think they're both admire they're both admiring the tools super random i went to see where they were and this is what they were doing odd he's looking at flashlights she's looking at wrenches super weird so firstly outside i still have the dog house and chairs and yes there is still snow around because guys it is still winter so i don't think it's like a christmas thing it's just winter and actually we're about to get our first snowstorm tonight here we haven't even got a snowstorm yet but yeah we're supposed to get a snowstorm tonight for the first time this year and anyways i have added these flowers actually i think that's new i think the flowers are really cute and they match with the chair as well so i added those my hammock is still here and we're gonna go this way some more snow of course and we have our lawnmower over here and our gardens and that's what that's looking like i also added the hammock right here i don't know where to put this hammock yet but this is where i'm gonna have it for now until i find a better spot for it or maybe that's just a good spot i don't know i feel like it fits there well our little um hot tub area set up out here for the parents hey i should have a bar out here that would be nice huh okay um i have the stupid tent of course and my watermelon pool i'm really hoping to get like some different stuff for the pool to change the watermelon theme but i don't have anything like i don't have enough stuff yet so i'm waiting until i can get some more hopefully from like a beach trip or something I've got my picnic table area set up out here still and the grill of course. I wish they could grill up a whole meal. F I think I've said that before but I wish that they could grill up a whole like dinner. Um, I have my flowers which I organized all of these. I'm probably going to share a post on my community page like how I organized them is kind of funny but I was just going and like I wanted to keep two of each one except a couple of them were that were like my favorites I kept more but yeah I was organizing them all so that I could see what all flowers I had because I had way too many and this still is a ton but I feel like they're all spread out now so it's not as like it there's less there's definitely less because I got rid of a lot <laughs> I don't know over here we have the super colorful garden with the skulls still in the flower pots as well and we have the purple garden i'm not a huge fan of purple but this is my favorite garden in the game i just feel like the colors look so good together like it's so pretty um and yeah so that is the last thing that i have well i have these two little tables out on my porch as well i forgot to say but yeah that's pretty much all that we have for today. So I'm going to do a quick little overview for you guys to see everything. Anyway, 
Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a thumbs up down below if you did and leave a comment. Um, comment anything you want. If you have questions, anything, go ahead and comment. Also, I hope you guys are having a good 2024 so far. It's been okay for me, um, but I think it's going to be a good year. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you in my next video. Alright, guys, bye!